Rajan, thank you for joining me. Uh, will you please confirm that there is a series of emails between you and Rahul Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi's secretary, Mr. Kanishk Singh, which have been put out by the BJP? Would you please confirm that these emails are genuine and true? Would you authenticate these emails, please? Ordna, uh, there were definitely emails between um, Mr. Rahul Gandhi uh, and I, uh, many emails. There were, there were a great number of emails exchanged between us, uh, a number of emails. Uh, there were uh, some emails uh, exchanged between Kanishk and I, and uh, uh, I would definitely authenticate uh, those emails. Uh, the specific emails that you refer to, I have not seen because I have been busy in the evening with some official meetings. I do understand. But there is an email. I would like to start with the but first yes, email. But yes, we did have emails. Th there is an email in yes. which Rahul writes to you, Nirma is high priority, especially for Gujarat. No dilution must be allowed. I have recently seen an article that dilution has taken place. Please ensure that we do not allow this. Did he write such a mail to you? about a project concerning Nirma in Gujarat? Uh, or, or at this distance of time, uh, I cannot remember uh, exactly the emails, but uh, I do recollect uh, that uh, uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi was very concerned that uh, there should be no dilution of environment norms uh, 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 that might be caused by Nirma. He was concerned about it. And uh, he would definitely might have written me an email about it. And he was therefore asking... There was you, communication between yeah, us. There was com so he was asking you to stall on the environmental clearances for the Nirma project in Gujarat. No, I don't believe uh, that uh, those were the specific words he used to me. Uh, but I... definitely uh, there was deep concern that he had that... Uh, uh, Nirma should not uh, be allowed to flout environment norms uh, in Gujarat. And uh, I remember this because it was in the context of a case that was filed in the Supreme Court by Nirma. He said so especially for Gujarat, and he was saying and, uh, this ahead, there were probably He emails. was saying this especially for Gujarat, and he was saying this prior to the 2012 Assembly elections. Obviously, for political reasons, uh, there was a link between the political process and the clearances in Gujarat. And Narendra Modi was the chief minister of Gujarat then. I don't want to comment on that, uh, Orna, because uh, I was a member of the union cabinet uh, and a member of the Congress party at that time. I'm no longer a member of the Congress. Uh, I resigned, as you know, after having written a letter precisely on these very subjects um, in January 2015. And uh, therefore, uh, I don't want to say anything more uh, about that. Why was why were you taking instructions? But yes, there was an email exchange. Why were us. why were you taking instructions from Rahul Gandhi regarding clearances of your ministry? Well, I wouldn't say uh, uh, there were definitely uh, there was a concert. I would call it uh, uh, party policy. We were expected to follow party policy. In, uh, in 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 uh, carrying out our work as party members and ministers, and uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, I believe, was general secretary uh, shortly to become the vice president. So certainly, he had an insight, uh, an input uh, into uh, very many of the decisions that we took, which was something that I brought out in my letter in 2015. But these are matters on which there were pro there were instructions given to you by the prime minister, which were contrary to those of Rahul Gandhi. It would not be correct of me to talk about my discussions with the Prime Minister uh, or not, uh, do forgive me. But uh, he, we did certainly, uh, 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 you, you, uh, there, there, was, there were certainly many differences in opinion in Cabinet about uh, uh, the policy that we had to follow. And uh, uh, at, in, at certain times, uh, we had the differences of opinion. I don't think I should say any more you about that. You don't need to because the but emails the are out. Would, had you, would, you please, would you please uh, confirm? Certainly, I, I would you, was, would you, would you please confirm 
would you please confirm the following email from Rahul Gandhi's secretary to you, of which I have a copy. It says, Dear Madam, this is a Could reminder that the Nirma matter is coming up in the Supreme Court. Grateful if Ministry of External uh, Environment and Forest can move towards closure on this. So Rahul Gandhi's secretary was issuing you instructions as a minister. Kanishk Singh is Rahul Gandhi's secretary. Secretary, he was, he was uh, issuing you instructions uh, in the matter. Yeah, uh, certainly, uh, I do believe that this is correct. I do believe that this is correct. But then this is a gross violation of any constitutional norms of governance. This is a gross violation. Ornab, I'm not going to argue with you about constitutional violations. Uh, all I'm going to say is that uh, there was a party policy that the ministers were expected to follow. And, uh, uh, you know, we had to take our uh, directions uh, from the high command. No, but you were, you know, you, the directions were there. And there is another email from you uh, where he says, spoke to CP. She said you should follow guidelines she has mentioned to you. So obviously Rahul Gandhi was telling you not to listen to the Prime Minister, but take Sonia Gandhi's instructions. I have this on email. Well, he had his views and uh, as uh, we all know, he had no hesitation in uh, communicating no, but I repeat, views, I repeat the points. Uh, I repeat the uh, points. To, to, Rahul uh, Gandhi whoever, was telling you... Was concerned. Rahul Gandhi was telling you in an email that he spoke to Sonia Gandhi when you brought up a matter regarding the Prime Minister's strong views regarding uh, a matter concerning, I think, uh, was it BT Cotton or...? And there were clear instructions what the Prime Minister was telling you. And you had brought your, you had brought your own predicament before, the Congress, before Rahul Gandhi, and Rahul Gandhi told you not to listen to Manmohan Singh but to follow the guidelines that Sonia Gandhi mentioned to you. I have an email on this. No, I, I, I cannot recall that email, but there were emails exchanged. You see, GM, the moratorium on GM crops was a very crop. sensitive issue, hotly contested and talked about. And uh, I was under tremendous strain and no, stress. No, but, but on, the, of on, the, issue, on the issue of... I can't say more than no, that. On, on, uh, no, but no, you but must reveal, the nation needs to know, on the issue of GM crops, the Prime Minister was telling you to do one thing and Rahul Gandhi was telling you to do absolutely the opposite because Sonia Gandhi had given you some other instructions. So you confirm you were sandwiched between Sonia Gandhi's instructions on the one side and the Prime Minister's instructions on the other. Arnab, I can say three things. Uh, certainly there were emails exchanged between Mr. Rahul Gandhi and I. Uh, which covered a variety of issues. I think uh, he accepted this himself. Uh, Where did he accept this? Oftentimes, uh, Where did uh, he we had this? to, uh, we were given directions to ensure that the party policy was followed in the government. And uh, uh, we needed to do that if we wanted to be disciplined soldiers of the party. And that is what I believed at that time. Uh, what do you believe now? Well, um, I'm out. <laughs> I, uh, I was blamed uh, for a host of misdeeds that were not my fault. Uh, I don't want to speak about them at this time. I hope I'll be able to speak to you very soon. As soon as, as you know, uh, I am being investigated uh, currently for something that uh, the, I, I, I think that, uh, the, uh, uh, that uh, is, is completely incorrect and uh, I will prove my innocence. So I believe that um, um, I, might, I, I, I might do things very differently today and be, make very sure that I protect myself. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you will, but can Rahul Gandhi deny these emails? I think the whatever so far the emails that you've read to me, uh, I can authenticate them, yes. One line instructions to you on government issues. Another Although I don't know, uh, I don't know how they came into the, uh, par par pardon me? The one-line emails on num numerous government issues on which Rahul Gandhi is issuing these one-line emails one after the other from a private email address called rahul.house at gmail.com.
you, you confirm this is the email address on which the communication was going on? Yes, that was uh, the address to which I communicated with him when I needed uh, to tell him something personal. And you were using an email address called jayanthitagreat at gmail.com. Sorry to, to reveal this, but I'm just reconfirming this. That's good. So that's pri correct. private email exchanges between two individuals. No, that's correct. Private that email correct. exchanges between a member of the cabinet and someone who has nothing to do with government, on government issues. Well, uh, it's more like uh, my talking to uh, the general secretary of my party whose uh, For orders I could not uh, uh, afford to ignore if I wanted to continue. What do you mean could, could well, not afford uh, to ignore? I, uh, what do you mean could not afford to ignore? Uh, I think... Uh, what, what, do you, what do you mean could not afford to ignore? Because the reason I'm saying... Why the reason saying I'm saying that or not is because... I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to explain that in a minute. The reason I'm saying I could not ignore it is because uh, very soon I found uh, that um, when the tide turned, uh, I was blamed uh, and uh, shown the door. I was told that... Uh, uh, I was told that all this is in, already in the public domain. The letter, not his emails. His emails, I, I have no idea how they came into the public domain, but the letter that I wrote to Mrs. Gandhi makes it very clear that I was only following uh, the party policy, that I was told by Prime Minister that uh, uh, I was required to do party work, that Prime Minister uh, wrote a letter thanking me for the excellent work uh, that I had done. Yes. I have that letter with me still. Yeah. And suddenly the next day I found that the narrative changed and the party blamed me for a whole lot of things. So uh, uh, clearly any delay in taking instructions uh, was not appreciated. You were seeking urgent guidance from on the Lavasa project from Rahul Gandhi. Why? Uh, or, or I, I don't believe uh, I would like to discuss each issue. All I can tell you is, because I can't remember at this length of time, uh, but you have the benefit of having those mails in front of you. Um, uh, my records uh, have been taken away by government agencies. I don't have anything with me. No, but you were, you were briefing Rahul Gandhi on confidential so I, instructions. I can only say that, yes, the, we did exchange it. You, you, exchanged, you exchanged his, he was giving you advice on the Lawasa issue? You confirmed that? He, uh, I, I'm, I'm not denying. He might have done. Yes. Uh, what kind of advice? Certainly. What kind of advice? I don't. Uh, like I said, I don't have the email in front of me, or no. So. I no, but I, I, I have the email here, and on. I the, don't have the email have, in front have, of me. So I have, I'm the, not I have the email, and uh, and I, and I do know that seeing the emails, that uh, he was trying to give you, he was giving you instructions on how to move ahead in the Lavasa case. And uh, it was quite clear that all the ministry decisions were being formulated might... by him, directly or indirectly. Well, you, uh, you might phrase it uh, in your own unique way, or no, all I can say is that uh, I had to follow party policy. Um, uh, I made it very clear, which was accepted by Mr. Rahul Gandhi, that uh, uh, his instructions were treated like orders by us. And I tried my best to follow the party policy, what I believe to be the party policy. So the party policy on the entire Lavasa matter was being given to you as a handout. And you were merely following it. There was a clear party policy that there should there was a clear party policy that there should be a no environmental degradation and rigorous guidelines should be followed, yeah. Did you ever ask at that point of in time whether environmental clearances were being used as a form of blackmail, selectively, to deal with political opponents or potential allies? No, no, I Was didn't. Was it not apparent to you? No, I didn't. Was it not apparent to you? I, consi I considered myself a faithful soul. No, I considered myself a faithful soldier of the Congress, which I had faithfully served for no, but they, 35 but the, years. But the, but I thought uh, but the, uh, that it but, was important but, for me but to was follow it not, was it not instructions clear from you, my leadership. Was it not clear to you that it was being used as political blackmail? One, vis-a-vis -vis the BJP in Gujarat, and secondly, vis-a-vis -vis the Nationalist Congress Party um, in uh, and other parties in Maharashtra, the Lavasa project? Was it not clear to you? No, I... 
I am not going to comment on. Order. This is. Uh, these are conclusions that you are drawing. But these are. I only this want is, to say. This is interference two in decisions I was, involving. I was, these uh, are in, interference in decisions. It, it, these are interference no. in decisions that have vast commercial considerations and include large corporate interests. You would admit. All I can say is two things as far as Lavasa is concerned. There was a clear party policy, number one. Number two, I was following, I was guided, it was monitored by the Supreme Court. And whatever but, decision I took but this was is, on the basis but of this the is Supreme a, Court this is You were seeking three, you gave three options to Rahul Gandhi in an email dated 16th of September 2011. You said, I can pass an order on file, I can ask the court to interpret para 12 of the earlier order or I can reject the environmental clearance citing non-compliance. Please tell me what to do. I mean, Rahul Gandhi was not the Prime Minister of India. But on this particular date in 2011, when he was a mere General Secretary you of the Congress Party, you were taking instructions from him or like he was the Prime Minister of India. Are you telling me this is what he was doing in 2011? He was working like a Prime Minister of India. I've already... I've already said, uh, Ornav, about Lavasa, that uh, it, uh, my every endeavor was to follow the party policy, and uh, my final decision was guided by the Supreme Court of India. Well, you also have confidential exchanges between lawyers, which is shared there in these emails. Did you at no point of time think that the, all this email exchanges, which is confidential information of the government of India, being passed on to Rahul Gandhi's hands as a private citizen, and a member of parliament was absolutely inappropriate, unconstitutional and illegal. I can't remember which email you're referring to, but uh, I want to categorically state that I've never done anything illegal or unconstitutional. Well, Jayanti Natarajan, not. you, you, you know, uh, you, I know you're repeating yourself now. A fact of the matter is, can Rahul Gandhi come and say that you're lying? Can Rahul say that you are lying on the authenticity of the emails? Well, he, I, I thought he'd already accepted that he had told me as early as February 2015 in a public uh, rally. Um, That's different from the emails. That's uh, very different he, from he the emails. Send me emails. That's very different from the emails, Ms. Natarajan. Well, I. I, 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 I'm, I, if you, you asked me whether I received emails and sent emails, yeah. and I'm authenticating the emails, the, the particular ones that you read. If, if they're wrong, well, he, sh he can say that he's wrong, that it's wrong. Well, Ms. Natarajan, thank you very much. But I stand by my position. Yes, yes, these, these, what That I did nothing illegal what? or unconstitutional, I was just being a faithful soldier of the party. Well, we differ on that. I would only say that what you've said today will raise many questions about the emails, about what was going on, and the constitutionality, illegality of this entire matter will now be discussed in the public domain. Thank you, Ms. Natarajan, for speaking to me and to speaking to Republic. Thank you. Let me place on record, yes, Arnab, before yes. uh, I yes. let you go, that... Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I haven't seen the emails that you're reading because I don't have the TV in front Ms. of me. Ms. Uh, I'm now. confirming that there, were, there was an email exchange. You read out the subjects. I you have, read out the I subjects. Have, yeah. I do remember there was an Ms. email Natarajan, exchange. Ms. Natarajan, I know you're subjects. a lawyer and you're putting the, a caveat out. The exact out. words, let all me, that. Let me, let me also tell you this, that I have read out to you the substantive part of the emails. And in the process of our conversation, duly recorded, you have confirmed to me the substantive parts of the emails. And if you wish, I will send you the exact copies for your convenience. Oh, yes, yes. No, I have, I have confirmed it. But, and I also reiterate that there was nothing illegal or unconstitutional. Yes. Ms. Natarajan, thank you very much. Thank you.